Our first guest went from being the youngest winner on American Idol to a platinum selling artist and a movie star. Please welcome the very lovely and wholesome Jordan Sparks. <laughs> The very funny thing is, is that you and I have something in common and you're the one who actually brought it up. I'm gonna see if you remember what it is last time you were here. Um, you, you told me that when you wake up in the morning, the first thing you check on your body is? Oh no. Your I hip don't... bones. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said me too. Me, me, like, I forgot. Because, no, because, well you're so used to now being so fit. I mean, you look terrific. Thank you, thank you yes. so much. Yes. You got the right amount of meat on your bones and you know, nothing you. beats uh, looking great at a time when your heart right. is hurting so much, yeah. you know? All right, so let's get right into it. I mean, okay. um, you know, your former boyfriend, were you guys engaged by the way? No. Okay, uh, Jason Derulo, who I also like. Yeah, you he's know? a good guy. And I thought that you guys were like this lovey-dovey couple, but he is now going on what I call a breakup tour. I heard <laughs> him the other day here in New York on like KTU radio station. <laughs> like he's going every place and, and it all started out where I think both of you agreed you both get along, the politically correct thing. And now he's saying some not so nice things about you. I guess. I mean, I, I really don't have anything to say on anything that's been said, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what's the biggest lie that you've heard, though? Mm, there's a lot, but I don't really want to feed into everything that people are trying to say and trying to start, okay. so I just. Yeah. yeah. How are you doing? I'm good. Really. No, really, I'm good. I know you think that I'm not good, but really, I'm good. No, I'm just. I, 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 I didn't say anything. <laughs> Well, no, because you know, sometimes, sometimes things happen and it's kind of just like, I said this the other day, um, I, I saw this awesome quote. I was looking, I don't know, I was on Twitter, I saw it or something. And um, it said, when something unexpected happens in your life or you think something bad's happening, you just yell plot twist and move on. Move on. Yeah. I was saying, I was saying yesterday on the show that, you know, it might not seem it now because you're only 24 years old and you've right. spent three years uh, together. Yeah. You might not feel it now, but this is one of the best things that could happen to you. Well, thank you. And I'll tell you why. I think I'm starting to feel it. Yes, I'm gonna tell you why. <laughs> because, um, in my opinion, mm -hmm. marriage is not for a 24-year-old young lady in hey, 2014. You never, you never know, yes. Yes, I mean, not right now is right. what I'm saying. Yeah. And, and, um, and then, you know, the pressure of being in the spotlight and everything. Yeah. So this gives you a chance. You get to know you a little bit more, date around. I'm excited. Have fun, <laughs> you know? Um, now, what he's been saying is, is that he felt too much pressure to get married. Sure. Uh, you know, not just from you, but from your family and people, including, I guess, us, because they're, you're a cute couple, and he wrote the Marry Me song. Hey, listen, we set ourselves up for that. Yes. We set ourselves up for that. We set ourselves and up for that. And you were in the sure. video. Yeah, yeah. Do you have a tattoo with his name on it any place? I don't. <gasps> Dodge that bullet. Um, there were rumors of infidelity on his part. Mm -hmm. Was he unfaithful to you? I actually don't want to comment on that. Okay, respect. Yeah. Um, there also is a BMW that he gifted you for Christmas. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Will you be giving that back to him? I thought about it, yeah. <laughs> Listen, Jordan. <laughs> you could certainly afford your own BMW. Right, I know. I would toss those keys right through his window. It's, it's, I mean, I, I haven't really had time to think about it, but yeah, I probably will. Yeah, well, because he's talking about the BMW. Hey, he can have it. And whatnot. <laughs> um, so now, um, I heard you're living on your own for the very first time. Yes, well, I mean, I'm, I'm living in LA for the first time by myself. <laughs> Uh -huh. um, thank you. It's, it's been really crazy, actually. I, I stayed there a lot. I was in hotels. At one point, I was in a hotel for six months. So it was like I lived there, but it's just, it's different having your own place and discovering things. At one point, I did have about like a month where I was like, why, why did I do this? I want to go home. <laughs> um, but I'm good now. I'm, I'm exploring 
around my neighborhood. I'm finding places I like to eat. I'm meeting new people. Like, uh, it's been really great. Were you and Jason living together in um, his house, or were you living together in your house? Mine. In your house. Mm -hmm. So now you've kicked him out. And, I mean, I'm assuming. And you're still in the house. You're, you're... Uh, it's my house, I bought it. Yeah, no, 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 I'm, I'm just, I'm just trying to figure it out. I'm trying to figure, I'm trying to figure it all out. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> um, and, and what's your mom and dad's reaction to all this? Mom and dad are divorced, but dad was um, an NBA a football player for the mm -hmm. Giants yes. and the Dallas. Yes. And mom oh, is, so yeah, mm -hmm. mom it looks young enough to be a sister. Yes, we always get that and it's, if you can believe it, she looks even better now. Like, she looks even more amazing now, but she looked good there, but they're good. Um, the great thing, and the one thing that I'm really blessed with is a lot of support. My family, they have just been, for a lot of my career, my whole entire life, they've been so supportive and right there if yeah. I need them. Uh -huh. um, my dad, yesterday, he drove into the cities and he brought me Cubby's Barbecue. In Jersey City? Yes. Mm. He brought it to me and it, t it, it takes two. <laughs> I know. I know. It takes too long when I'm in the city to have to drive out to Hackensack and get it and bring in it back. And uh, so my dad brought it into town last night for me to have. That's and terrific. It was still warm. That's terrific. They're great. Um, before I ask you about your weight, I just wanted to ask, are any one of these rings the purity ring? Huh? Enough said. <laughs> um, all right, now let's talk weight. Yes, okay. Uh, now clearly you don't deny yourself of anything because you ate cubbies. Oh yes, that was so good. So <laughs> how are you keeping your weight off and what's the total you lost? Um, the total, it was 50 pounds at one point. I've gained maybe like five, six, seven back. Right. So it's still around 45 pounds. Yes. Which is still a lot. Yes. Um, but you know what, earlier earlier this year, I actually really cut back on meat, except for yesterday when I had cubbies. Yes. Um, so that's actually really helped. I thought I was going to have a really hard time like not eating it, but I actually don't miss it. But I eat fish still. You eat fish, yeah. 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 Well, I have to say, you look really terrific. Thank we you. saw you um, at Tao in your bikini. Yeah. Um, <gasps> you know, yes. <laughs> So crazy to even look at. Yeah, but you know what? You're single, you're sexy, you're focused. It's Jordan, everybody. Jordan Sparks. <laughs> Up next, we're gonna talk to Jordan about this new movie that she's in with Nicolas Cage. Yes. So don't go away. That's enough, all of you. I know what's going on here. You do? How much did he pay you? What are you talking about? I can't believe he's doing this. She's my daughter. Okay, miss, I don't know what you think's going on here. But she Get up. Where did you get that? You. Yes. How much did he pay you? What? Where did he take her? Who? Please, who? Please, who are you talking about? My husband. <laughs> Jordan Sparks got a gun in that clip. Um, that's from her new movie. It's called Left Behind. Uh, tell us about the movie. So I, I was just affected by that, okay. Um, so the movie is based off of the book series that was written a while ago, uh -huh. um, but it's really exciting because it's based off of the rapture that's in the Bible. It's similar to what The Leftovers is, you know, people just disappear and you don't really know mm -hmm. where they went. And it's very interesting because I play a mom and I don't have kids and I had to really dig deep into where who, if I was just hugging them and all of a sudden they were gone, right. would I just have that emotional reaction, that breakdown, that just that deep, heart-wrenching reaction? And uh -huh. I thought of my brother. He's my best friend. He is just everything. Hi, Peach. Um, and at one point, I got so deep into the part when the director, Vic, yelled, cut, I was bawling for 20 minutes after. Well, you've I, been going through a lot. I couldn't pick, I couldn't get myself, I couldn't get myself out of it. Yes. Hey, I filmed this last year, what are you saying? Uh, well, <laughs> that's right, I forgot. Um, and Nicolas Cage is in the movie also. Yes. So recently, um, we saw you tweet a picture of you in the recording studio. Yes, yes. So you've had two albums in your career, uh -huh. and it's been a while since you've had something out. It's been, I've had singles here and there, but it's been five years since an album. So album, what are you doing right? there? I'm writing and recording, and it's been great because, because it's been five years, my fans have been so patient. Thank you guys, I love you so much. Yes. Um, 
they've been so patient. And, and what had been happening the past five years was the label that I was on would be like, okay, yeah, we'll do this. And then they never did. So I oh. would be excited and tell people that music was coming, and then it wouldn't come. Yes. And then it, I would say it was, and then it wasn't. So I've actually been in the studio since the beginning of this year. I've been working on it for a while. I just haven't posted anything because I didn't want to get anybody's hopes up. You're right. So now we want to have something out by the end of this year. So there's only a couple months left. And Good you for know, you. it's coming. Good for you. Pop it up for Jordan Sparks, everybody. Her new movie, Left Behind, opens in theaters on Friday.